we're just floating here along. We're at 711 milliamps, and we're traveling no knots, 0 0.1 knot. Um, last year, when I tried to collect some, I thought I'd just do a, a quick, simple video on, uh, you know, like a linear graph on the speed of the boat, but um, on different days, I had different results. And so it was time to dive into the math. So I started with calculating the hull speed, or the max speed the boat can attain without getting up on plane. You can see we're at five amps, traveling two knots. Seven amps, it's still reading two knots. Ten amps. Ten amps, so we're reading three knots. Three knots. The next step was to calculate the theoretical speed of the propulsion system, which is the combined effect of the motor, drive shaft, and prop. But first, the first thing we need is the pitch calculation. So in order to correctly calculate pitch, we need to measure the blade elevation. This is typically measured for a three-bladed prop two-thirds of the distance from the center of the shaft and at the point on the blade where that hits, that's where you would measure the blade elevation. Then placing the prop on a flat surface in this position, you would look to your two-thirds again and this time you would be measuring a segment angle. Now this segment angle is going to tell you what proportion of that blade is to a full circle and that's very important because you need to know how many of those go into a full circle in order to get your complete pitch measurement. Yes, okay, current speed is two knots, so here we go, and we're going to just do full throttle for a minute and see how fast we're going to go with this little motor. Got a lot of guts to start it. Uh. Okay, first we're going to calculate the pitch by dividing 360 degrees by the 61.5 and multiplying by the 2.5 inches. Then we're going to do a series of conversions to get the 13.23 knots. Looking at our slip factor of 20%, 20% reduction in our number, we're still way above where we're actually at and nowhere near where we want to be. So we have to figure out the theoretical speed that was calculated incorporates a slip factor. And that slip factor in a normal boat can be anywhere from 15 to 30, which is my understanding. Um, I think because my boat cannibalized the drive shaft from another boat, it possibly is not sitting in the water as deep, nor does it probably have the designed angle of inclination. And with those further uh, changes to how it was intended, I think my number should be a lot higher or my efficiency lower. Meanwhile, uh, three knots at 20 amps. 24 amps is four knots. Uh, max speed, I'm up to 65 amps. 7 amps, I'm still at 4 knots. Okay, now that we have calculated some base information, we go to the Victoria Prop page to their prop calculator, which is excellent. 
what we're going to do here is we're going to look at what the equivalent gas engines would be uh, based on um, wattage. First, by dividing the 1800 watts by 745, we get 2.41 horse. Now, you can't really compare an electric motor to a gas engine other than we're looking for what is the equivalent torque here. You have to look at the torques of both systems, and that's how you do it um, to understand where you are. And then the energy expenditure based on the RPMs you need with that torque is what we're looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our existing system, and then we're going to put in what it would take to be hull speed. Um, and then from there, we're going to get what the calculated as the, uh, the torque for that hull speed. Um, and then look back on our graphs. And this is the motor um, torque curve. That gives pretty much everything from amperage to speeds to torques. And this is a very important tool when you select a motor. So based on using the gas engine equivalent uh, of horsepower and then putting it into the equation to get the uh, foot-pounds, we see that we would need six foot-pounds available um, at the uh, speed required to do 6.3 knots. And looking at that, um, if you convert that to Newton meters, that's well outside the graph, uh, which is not possible under these circumstances. So we write, know right away that before we even add in any losses or anything else, we are not going to make that 6.3 with our current system and our current gear reductions. Um, we could play with the overall gear reductions and maybe get a little more out of it, but the bottom line is, is that for my system, it looks like the power required would be uh, too great to really want to do that. I don't want to carry that much power, that many batteries. We're doing three knots, four knots. We're actually running five knots right now on a 22-foot boat. If I could, possibly in the future, select a different motor that had a higher torque at a slower speed where I didn't need to maintain such a fast RPM on the motor, I could maintain the speed that I needed on the prop and not have such a high noise component to the system. I think going forward for me I'm happy with where I am. I might attempt to look at other motors at this time uh, and see what might be appropriate uh, and help me with my noise um, to further reduce that because I would love to be able to sail and have that going and not even hear it. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing uh, pushing the like button, uh, really appreciate it, watching the other videos.